one of the new underlying mechanics of the entire ERS system is this new area called Schedule Profiles and you can get to it under Admin Products Schedule Profiles and Schedule Profiles do quite a few things um, in fact Main by default is going to do the majority of it so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and we can see some of the settings that are inside of there so if you're uh, doing a regular delivery model then time span is uh, where you want it to be if you're an indoor center or you're a fixed location then you might want to use time slots and day span is for individual items that may go out for multiple days at a time and you're not necessarily counting hours but more days so let's leave this on time span and for everything that is set to this schedule profile of main which can be set on the category or even the item level uh, those items are currently going to be available from 8 in the morning until 7 in the evening and if we want to change a certain category or individual items to be available at different times we can just assign a different schedule profile to them and uh, and once again slot length and size are for the fixed fields so we'll cover that in a different area and uh, then if we come down here price rules you can see which price rules are being affected by this schedule profile so you can say uh, certain items aren't available on certain days of the week for example uh, time within time um, in this case refers to items that might come in for a shorter period of time than the entire length of the event so let's say you want a face painter to come in for two hours in the middle of an eight-hour event so if that was the case you would set that to yes and then under availability rules this is where this ties that together with their availability you can set um, whether certain items are not available for customer pickup or maybe they're uh, only available at certain times of the year so there's a lot of flexibility and uh, this can be kind of overwhelming because there's so much flexibility so if you're trying to get the system to do something in particular rather than spending hours messing around with us just give our tech support a call and we'll help you out uh, suggested add-ons is also where you can suggest what's going to be suggested when they put that item or something in that category into the cart and additional reminders this is uh, also can be set up within individual items but this is uh, things like uh, the cotton candy machine or the snow cone machine you selected comes with everything you need except ice plan on three to four bags of ice so this is not a general reminder but an additional reminder that can be assigned to certain items and finally price display is uh, if you want to say um, per hour if you want to say um, per piece or two hours included a um, hundred dollars for each additional hour however you anything that you want to have displaying next to the actual price uh, you can enter in there and once again submit takes you back to the previous menu and save keeps you where you are so I uh, hope that brings a little light to uh, what you can do. It's an incredibly flexible and powerful system. So if you have any questions, just give us a call. Thanks.